Chrissy G here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and blessed week thus far. I want to encourage you today to simply be yourself. Just be yourself. I find that a lot of times when we aren't where we want to be in life and we feel stagnant and we feel stifled is because we're trying to fit into a box that someone else has built for us. You don't have to change who you are or dim your light to fit into any category that man has established because all you need is who God said you are and believe in that and walk in that image. Don't change yourself for people. Stop dimming your light to fit into circles that were never meant for you. Stop trying to be who you aren't. Stop trying to pretend and build this fake persona so that people will accept you, so that you'll be loved and adored and admired. That is not who God wants you to be and that is not what God has for you. God wants you to be greater than that. God says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. In fact, instead of you trying to change to fit into an atmosphere and to fit into a circle, things should change and things should shift just by you walking in a room. Your light should be so bright that it affects other people positively. So shine your light and beam it out for everybody to see because you shouldn't be ashamed of yourself. You should be proud of who you are. You should be proud of who God made you. You should be proud and confident in the gifts and talents that you have to bring to this world. Be who you are and don't change for anybody. Stop dimming your light to fit into someone else's definition of who they think you should be. But walk in who the Bible, the Word of God, and the Spirit says that you are. You know who you are. You know who you were created to be. Stop pretending and stop faking just because you're trying to please everybody out there. Because I guarantee you, you will never be enough according to man's standards. You will never live up to the hype and up to the expectations of what someone else has placed over you. That box that you're trying to fix yourself in will never fit. You're too big for that. You're too great for that. Stop settling and stop trying to dim your light for other people. I don't care if it's your spouse. I don't care if it's your parents. I don't care if it's your circle of friends that you say you have. Stop trying to fit in with them. If you find yourself compromising yourself, your beliefs, your standards to fit into what other people want, then that's not you. That is not what you were built for. That is not the lane that you need to be in. So let other people stay in their lane and pave a new path for yourself if that's what you need to do. But I'm here to tell you today that it's time to stop dimming your light. Stop trying to fit in. Live above the bar. Live above the standard. And do what is great in you. Do the wonderful things that you know how to do. Because you know what's in you because you know who you are. And confidence is attractive, okay? Stop pretending to be insecure. Stop pretending that you don't know how to do things and you don't know where you need to go. Because this whole lost puppy show that you're doing is not working, okay? You don't need man to save you. You don't need anybody to bear you up but yourself. Self-confidence can take you a long way. That aligned with the grace of God and the favor of God that is upon your life, you are unstoppable. So stop it today, stop it. Because I see too many people out there faking it, pretending to be something that they're not, putting themselves in uncomfortable situations because they think that that's what the status quo requires. Because they think that that's what it means to be successful. Stop compromising yourself for what the world's definition of success is. Stop being somebody that you're not. Stop dimming your light to make other people feel comfortable. If people are disturbed by the Christ and the Holy Spirit that is in you, then that's a personal problem between them and their demons. 
that has nothing to do with you and that has nothing to do with the mantle and the grace that is upon your life and upon your purpose. So stop hiding your light because a city on a hill cannot be hidden, right? And you are a city on a hill and you are the salt of the earth and you are everything that God has proclaimed over your life. Stop selling yourself short. Stop dimming your light and stop compromising yourself for other people. You are worth so much more than you are currently aspiring to be. Challenge yourself, be more, do more, and stop trying to fit in. When you release yourself of the burden of trying to live up to other people's expectations and trying to fit in to this little box, that society is putting you in, you will open so many doors for yourself. I mean, the possibilities would be endless simply because you made the decision to free your mind and free yourself from the burden of trying to be like everybody else. I'm done with trying to fit in. I've given up on that because I know who I am because I know that I am unique in my own right and I know that my gift will make room for me and I know that God shall supply all of my needs, okay? So as long as I seek Him first and I do everything that is in my power to work hard, to be brave, and to go out there courageously being myself and not dimming my life for anybody, that there is nothing that can stop me. Nothing. So stop dimming your light and stop making yourself small so that other people can feel great. So that other people can walk all over you. So that other people can continuously put you down and put you in this small category. Go with God and let God shine brightest through you. I'm serious, guys. Stop dimming your light. Stop trying to fit in. You're bigger than that. Do better. Okay? Love you guys. Bye.